Maya Thwaitwai Kwang was supposed to be celebrating her 20th birthday on Thursday. Instead, she's fighting for her life in a hospital in Myanmar, the first known serious casualty of the ongoing protests against the country's military coup. She was shot in the back of the head when police clamped down on a peaceful protest in the capital on Tuesday. Video footage verified by Reuters shows Maya Thwaitwai Kwang was struck in the back of the head with a live round and then being pulled away by her sister, Maya Taito Noe, although the army has security forces using only non-lethal weapons. I thought they were shooting into the sky at first and I told my sister to go back and then she got shot. I did not think she got shot at first. I thought she fainted as she was angry. But after people had shouted and asked her to remove her helmet, then I realized she got shot after seeing her bleeding behind her head. I did not even know how I got here to the hospital after that. A doctor from the hospital told Reuters she had lost significant brain function and was not likely to survive. I feel so heartbroken. We only have our mother left. Our father is already dead. I'm the eldest among four siblings, while my sister is the youngest. My mother won't be able to stand that her youngest daughter is dying like this. We also can't stand it, as we only have this sister. I can't even describe it in words. The shooting of the teenager has caused outrage across the country particularly as many members of the protests are Generation Z. They say they refuse to let another generation experience military rule.